So the game's um, shaping up reasonably okay at the moment. Uh, I can run around, the camera follows me. I've got a, a large space to explore. I can make it fairly large and I can collect my cannonballs and the display of the number I've collected is up here at the top left corner. Needs a bit of polish still, but one thing that it really lacks is interesting gameplay. You know, I'm just running around collecting things and um, it's a bit dull. So what I'm gonna try and do is add some, uh, a slightly more interesting environment, basically moving platforms so I have to time my jumps. So uh, I'm gonna add a new object, which will be my new platform. Uh, that was the wrong thing to do, wasn't it? So let's try that again. Add a new object from the asset store. Gosh, I wasn't paying attention for a moment. Um, and I'm using the pirate bomb um, asset pack. So I'll, I'll use the same one just to keep the consistent um, consistent art style. So uh, I'm going to grab this platform here, I guess. Well, it looks a pretty decent kind of platform. Um, add to the scene. And close. And drag that in. And that's what it looks like. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it go up and down. And you have to like kind of jump up at, at the bottom level. In fact, we'll get, so I'll put this up here. And we want it to go up and down here. And you have to jump on. You have to time your jump. And then you can go up here and try and explore it. Kind of the idea, isn't it? So this uh, platform, I'm going to rename it actually. Just to make sure I'm not confused. Because you, you end up with hundreds of different... Um, uh, hundreds of different sprites in a game and it can get quite confusing quite quickly so moving platform i can call that that's a good name apply okay. and um we're going to change its behavior now there's a bunch of different ways of doing this um these are kind of the the standard built-in ones and you can use there is a way to use tweening um, to smoothly animate position <laughs> and make it a moving platform. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but GDevelop has got this real nice bonus feature that there's all these other extra behaviors, that some of which are um, like made by people who, who just like, enjoy GDevelop, um, and some are uh, made by GDevelop themselves. So I'm gonna go with, well, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's linear movement we could do. That, 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 wouldn't, that would only move one way, it wouldn't move it back. Um, there's, it's really worth just kind of scrolling through and having a, a look at the kinds of things, you know, animated back and forth movement, maybe that's a thing. Well, actually I know from experience that the best one for what we want to do is the sign movement. And the only way I know that is by trying it. So that's what I, I recommend that you do. Um, is you try a few of them out. You know, have, have a, a project with kind of a sandbox and uh, throw a few things in, see what they do, see how they work. And some of them will be good and some of them won't. So I've added it in and you can see it's now in this list, which it was not before. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna click, uh, right, center of movement, X position, center of movement, Y position. Yep, that's fine. So it's got horizontal distance at the moment. It's moving horizontally. Um, I actually don't want it to move horizontally, I want it to move vertically. So I'm going to change that to zero and I'm going to change the vertical distance to a hundred. I'm just kind of guessing to see what happens in the first place. Hit preview. Definitely recommend you do go and look at lots of those different behaviors. There's some really useful ones and you can get a lot of really cool effects for not very much effort. You can make it feel really professional. There we go. So. That feels like it's going to be only, oh, I died, okay. I've got to wait. See, this is, is, see there's, there's more gameplay straight away. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make it a platform behavior as well, didn't I? I'm going to leave this in the video because it's worth showing how we, um, <laughs> everyone makes mistakes and forgets things and then has to work out what's going wrong. You know, that's actually part of the fun of it is trying to work out what's going wrong at any particular moment. So anyway, back to where we were. So over here, go and jump on my platform. Yep, and yay. I seem to get, be getting a double jump, no? 
Hmm. Anyway, um, so that's moving platforms using one of the um, many other behaviors that are available.